So I'm going to try to showcase the corals that are in the tank so you get a good idea of it. <clears throat> right now, right up in front, on the left hand side of the screen is the uh, bird's nest coral. A lot of my friends call it a skeleton, which is annoying because it's actually alive. Um, and it glows like neon green at night. But you can see there's little polyps all over it. Some of it's bleaching out. <clears throat> but it's got nice coralline algae on the base of it. You can see some mushrooms in the background over there, just kind of doing their thing. And then this is the toadstool. And it's kind of cool because it just kind of moves around and does its thing. So then I'll zoom out. <clears throat> There's some spotted mushrooms up here that are kind of driving me crazy because they're not happy. Anywhere I put them, they're not happy. Um, but you can kind of see they're spotted and they should be gigantic, but I have no idea what's going on with them because the calcium is through the roof in this tank. Um, it's at 520 parts per million where it should be at 450. And, you know, all the corals use calcium and I'm not even putting calcium in the tank, so I don't know where it's coming from. But over around here is the Kenya tree, which I really like. Um, I might put it somewhere else, but you can see it's got a little bit of flow on it. <clears throat> it's just kind of moving around. It's got little, what I call like little flowers. Obviously they're polyps, but it's really neat. Um, I like it. And then, let's see. What else we got? So there's the failing mushrooms. There's the other mushrooms that are kinda kinda holding on for dear life. Then up here is the uh, digitata coral that's not really doing too well, but it still has polyps coming out. You can see them. Um, but you know it's a it's a skeleton LPS or SPS small polyp stony coral so you know it's finicky it's kind of tough um, then let's see I'm zoomed in pretty far there's the hammerhead coral every once in a while it gets like a burst of like flow and it just starts moving there we go Which is like really weird. I don't know if it's moving on its own because you would think that there would be flow on it constantly. Um, it's kind of weird. But then, get out of the way. Here is um, a bubble tip anemone that just grew out of the rock. Which is kind of weird. Um, let's see. <clears throat> down here. There's a little bit of algae on the glass so it's not going to be perfectly clear, but this is called a cat's paw coral. And you can see that there's like little blue polyps, aka flowers, all over it. Looks kind of neat. Um, and then this is a bird's nest coral. Behind it you see all these zinnias going crazy. And then we go up a little bit. Well, you got a glare from the door being open. But then there's the, obviously, the, the bubble coral, which is really kind of neat. Um, puts out these like crazy tentacles at night that are like, kind of clear, and it's an aggressive coral, so it's got to be off away from everything else. And then here's the latest thing this is a bubble tip rose anemone. And it is like tripled in size. So you can see it kind of matches this guy. Super small. That guy is super big. Um, but anyway, so you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So this is the open brain coral that is not cooperating right now. 
But last night when the actinic lights were on, like the moonlight, it was glowing fiery orange. So hopefully it's going to do okay. Um, but yeah, it, it, it looks pretty cool. I think the corals on the left, the big mother effers, um, are kind of too big for the tank. So it kind of proportionally doesn't fit in. And I need at least like another 10 pounds of rock. There's about 30 right now. Um, so that would just help with filtration and, you know, more nooks and crannies for things to grow and, you know, do their thing. But yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's doing pretty good. I'm hoping the clown's going to jump into this guy. But, uh. Or even that guy. <laughs> he has been guarding this thing, thinking it's an anemone. So he's like, nobody get near here. Um, but he never goes in it. And somewhere, the uh, Mandarin Gobi's like super elusive, but he constantly comes out and swims around. And so I don't know where the hell he is right now. <clears throat> and obviously, you can hear the fan going to cool this goddamn thing down because we're at 90 degrees right now outside and it's about 80 degrees in the tank where it should be 77 um, and it wasn't supposed to be this hot today so once again the battle continues but that's the uh, that's the idea it's, uh, oh there's a goby oh, you just saw him for a second little elusive bastard you can actually see his eye right oh. Where'd you go? Oh, he's right there. Ah. There he is. Right there. He's just always walking around eating crustaceans in the rock. <clears throat> Super elusive, but very cool fish. Anyway, that's that.